Hi everyone, another quick video today to go over how to answer a certain type of nonverbal reasoning code question. Let's jump straight into solving a code type question. Now here we're given three shapes down the left hand side. Alongside each shape is a two letter code and what we've got to do is try and figure out what each letter is representing. Now to do this we're going to isolate each letter just like we did in previous videos in other code type questions. We're going to look at the first letter to begin with, V, W and W. And what we've got to do is try and match up a feature of the shapes on the left hand side with a letter in this code. V means something in this shape, W means something in this shape, and W again means the same thing must be going on in this shape. So we've got to ask ourselves what's the same and what's different. What do these two shapes here have in common that W could be representing, which is different in the top shape that V would be representing? Now just by having a quick look we can tell it's not the inside of the shape as these are different but it is the size of the shape. So W represents a small triangle, V must therefore represent a larger triangle. So we can solve for the first letter. This here is a larger triangle therefore the first letter must be a V. And what we can do straight away is eliminate the wrong answers. It's not WR, it's not WP and it cannot be WQ. It must either be A or E. Now that we've solved our first letter in the code, we're going to try and solve the second. So we're going to underline just to make sure we've isolated each letter. And we've got a P, a Q and an R. Now here we have three letters that are different. So there must be something that's different about each of these shapes. Now the only thing that I can see which is unique to each of them is what's inside of the shape. So P must represent two white circles. Q must represent a circle split in two quarters with two shaded black. And R must represent absolutely nothing. Look at the shape we're given, it matches up with the centre shape, therefore it must be a Q. Fingers crossed we have VQ, which we do here, the answer must be E. So straight into question two, and you'll notice that these look slightly more complicated because they have three letters per code. However, if you just apply what we've learned in question one, you'll still get the right answer. So let's start off by isolating the first letters of each code, J, J and K. And what we need to ask ourselves is what's the same about these two shapes, which is different about the bottom one. Now the only thing J could represent here that's the same is that they're both made up of triangles. So J must represent triangles and K therefore must represent a hexagon. If we look at our shape on the right, we see it's a hexagon and we can write in straight away the letter K. Moving on to the second letter that we can isolate here, L, M and M, we ask ourselves the same question. What's the same about the M letters that's different about the L letter? These two shapes have something in common that is different about the top shape. And we can see straight away that the M letters show us that the shape on the left is made up of two separate shapes, one inside the other. Whereas the L shape is simply one shape on its own. If we look at our shape on the right, the hexagon, it's on its own, therefore it matches up with the L code. We're going to put in L in the second slot. At this point, what I can do is get rid of any answers that it can't be. It can't start with a J, so I'm going to get rid of these two. It can't be KM, because I know it's KL, and that leaves just A and E. So if I go over to the left hand side and isolate the final letter, F and H and F, ask ourselves the same question, what do these F shapes have in common that's different to the H shape? We can see that F means that the centre shape is shaded in black, whereas H means the shape isn't shaded at all. This shape here, our hexagon, is shaded, therefore I match it up with the F code, and I write K, L, F, and I circle my answer. So it's over to you for question three. Remember to isolate the first letter of each code and try and find out what that represents, and then isolate the second letter of each code to try and find out what that represents, and you should be able to solve for this shape here. If you've got an answer, leave it down in the comments section below, and we'll get back to you to see if you were right. We hope you found that tutorial helpful and if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to get in contact.